Hi, my name is India Harper. I'm from Arkansas and I'm currently studying at Hanyang University winter semester. It was really kind of easy because I was afraid. I was like, I don't know when I'm Korean for this. What am I gonna do? But like y'all pretty made it easy, like having it in English and it was just a step by step. Like you need this, this and that, and that's it. It was like no under the serve charges, no hidden fees. I was like, oh, that easy. Oh, okay, okay. So I was pretty happy and I was pretty pleased. Uh, Nathan was pretty consistent with emailing me back and he gave me like really straightforward answers and like answered all my questions and really, it was like a really helpful like like guidance and I, had, I didn't worry that much and I was like, oh, this is easy. At, at first when I was looking at like other study programs, it was, it was just like for like a short term, it was just like, you know, for like language exchange, it wasn't actually what I wanted to do, like live there, study there, be in contact with the office. Um, it just it just wasn't as very clear and concise. It was very confusing, and I had to partner with the university. And I was in high school, and I was like, I don't want to be in an American university. I want to go straight there. And so with Goku Hangup, it was like, yeah, you don't have to be in your university. You can be whatever, whatever age you want, and you can just we'll help you sign up with the school. And I was just like, yes, that's what I want. And looking at like the fees, I was like, ooh, that's good. That's not too much. I can definitely pay that. <laughs> So yeah, um, it was it was really helpful because they gave me different options of school and just strictly just the language, not like you know extra activities. We're going here, we're going there. No, just at the school and just live there and experience the Korean culture culture that you that you can by yourself. Oh, I love it. Um, I at first I was kind of sad that we couldn't be in person, but like I've gotten accustomed to it. I'm like I'm in my PJs, I'm at my desk, I'm by my bed. I get to move around the class and just talk to my teacher. And I, I think it's kind of, I think it's, I, I like it. Even though the class is like kind of fast, but it, like it, it's, the reason why it's fast is for me to pay attention and not just like zone out. So I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of fun. The teacher, she like, she, she, she knows how to explain it pretty well to where I can consume it and like repeat it back to her and I can take enough notes to where I can study by myself. It's pretty easy. And as long as you like set a schedule to maintain like a study afterwards, or do your homework in a specific amount of time, it's really not that hard to pay attention and to pass the class and to really learn, learn the language. The teacher, even though it's like day one, she's speaking Korean, you're like, what the heck is happening? You'll soon adjust to it, and you have your vocabulary sheets, you have your homework, and it's just like, it just all pieces together very slowly, but it just takes you to actually put in the effort and to struggle just a little bit and turn it into fun and then continue learning, keep on failing, keep on learning. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's a pretty interesting process. I would recommend Han University class because the teachers, they're very energetic. They're very, they're very, they, they take their time to explain things. It's very quick and it just goes by really fast. And you're like, that was four hours, really? I learned that much in four hours? Wow, that's, that's, wow, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot, but it's a good a lot. So you feel like you're progressing. There's, there's never a day where you feel like, oh, this is dragging on. No, every day it's progress, progress, progress. And we have, we take like, a, like every week, every once a week, we do a review. And in that review, you have, in that, like, in that review, you have so much time to like, remember what we did in the beginning of the week. And it's, and it's, and it's really helpful because you you don't feel like you're forgetting anything. It's just, it's just reviewing and repeating back and being confident enough to speak in Korean. Oh yeah, so compared to my country, even though we have like a, like a time, the bedtime, people with cars, they still go out to eat, they still hang out with their friends, and as long as you get home back in the same amount of time, it's not a problem here. The restaurants close at 9, everything closes at 9. So what do you do after 9, before 12, before the last train station? My friends and I, since we're in Wangshin and we're close to that Hangang River, so we just go walk to the Rung River, just walk off the food. Um, yeah. And during the weekends is when we, when we really like you know go out to like excur like go out to the shopping mall or we just go see like different palaces. We take pictures. It's just really just like it's really like a whole bonding moment because since you can't like go out as much, whoever you are surrounded with in your building, it's like it's really important to hang out with them because that's where most of your memories come from. Like y'all can go out to eat, y'all can like see attractions, but it's like the people we are with it makes it like makes the experience more better. And like, I really don't have a problem with the whole quarantine because like that, that to me is just like, oh, going home at nine, I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna be in my dorm for a couple hours. So it's, it's really not that bad. The, the museums are open, the shopping malls are open. Uh, 
I don't know about the movie theater. I haven't been there yet. So like different cafes are open and it's just, it's just whatever, it's, it's, just, it's just how you make it that's really important. So yes, I, I do believe I made the right choice of coming to Korea because I'm putting myself in a different environment and I'm looking, while, while the pandemic is happening, I'm looking at a different view of things and it's also be more socially aware. And I feel like if I made the right decision of just traveling because in Korea, they're, they're taking every step that they can to be socially aware. And I don't feel like I'm in danger at all. So, <laughs> and down, there's a community center right down from me that does free quarantine tests. So I feel as if, so I feel as if I am in contact, I can get a quarantine test. And they tell me, nope, you're fine. You're negative. Go, go about your day. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah. So uh, after, after like two weeks after I was done quarantine, I did go take another test. And they, and since I have a Korean phone number with my prepaid SIMS card, uh, they just texted me, nope, you're all fine. You just quarantine, just like staying for another two days. And that's all we asked.